In mathematics, in the field of geometry, a polar space of rank n, n3, or projective index n1, consists of a set P, conventionally called the set of points, together with certain subsets of P, called subspaces, that satisfy these axioms. Every subspace is isomorphic to a projective geometry P d K with minus 1 d n minus 1 and K a division ring. By definition, for each subspace the corresponding d is its dimension. The intersection of two subspaces is always a subspace. For each point p0 in a subspace of dimension of n1, there is a unique subspace b of dimension n1 such that a b is n2 dimensional. The points in a b are exactly the points of a that are in a common subspace of dimension 1 with p. There are at least two disjoint subspaces of dimension n1. It is possible to define and study a slightly bigger class of objects using only relationship between points and lines. A polar space is a partial linear space P, L, so that for each point P element of P and each line L element of L, the set of points of L collinear to P, is either a singleton or the whole L. Finite polar spaces where P is a finite set are also studied as combinatorial objects. Topic: <laughs> Generalized quadrangles. A polar space of rank 2 is a generalized quadrangle. In this case, in the latter definition, the set of points of a line collinear with a point P is the whole only if P element of one recovers the former definition from the latter under the assumptions that lines have more than two points, points lie on more than two lines, and there exist a line and a point P not on so that P is collinear to all points of <laughs> Finite classical polar spaces Let P G N Q display style pg n q be the projective space of dimension n display style n over the finite field f q display style math bound f underscore q and let f display style f be a reflexive sesquilinear form or a quadratic form on the underlying vector space. Then the elements of the finite classical polar space associated with this form consists of the totally isotropic subspaces when f is a sesquilinear form or the totally singular subspaces when f is a quadratic form of P G N Q display style P G N Q with respect to F display style F the width index of the form is equal to the largest vector space dimension of the subspace contained in the polar space and it is called the rank of the polar space these finite classical polar spaces can be summarized by the following table, where n is the dimension of the underlying projective space and r is the rank of the polar space. The number of points in a p g k q Display style PG K Q is denoted by theta K Q display style theta underscore K Q and it is equal to Q K plus Q K minus one plus Plus one 
Display style Q carrot K plus Q carrot K one plus C D O T S plus one. When R Display style R is equal to two Display style two We get a generalized quadrangle. Topic Classification Jacques Titz proved that a finite polar space of rank at least three, is always isomorphic with one of the three types of classical polar spaces given above. This leaves open only the problem of classifying the finite generalized quadrangles. <laughs>